Hi everyone, this is Julia from Green Umbrella Marketing and today I'm just going to show you some features within LinkedIn Analytics. They change things all the time, so things are in slightly different areas now. Um, we've had a couple of live chat questions where people have asked us, you know, what analytics can I get out of my company page on LinkedIn? So this is for you guys. So the first thing I want, you need to hop over obviously onto your company page on LinkedIn and then whiz into where it says manage page. From here, there's a whole load of information you can get from your company page. Um, and it's sort of split into two in a way. So the first area is actually an individual post. So you may not realize this, but you can actually get information on an individual post. So you just literally find that individual post and then where it says here, right at the bottom, you can click show statistics. So you just get the bare bones of the statistics for that individual post, which is great if you're just going down the, the feed and you just have a very quick look as to see what impressions and what works in the last week or so. But if you want to analyze you know what worked last year to what's compared to this year or you know over the last 12 months or so then it's you just need a little bit more than that so that information is actually found up here over in the analytics so if you just click on analytics uh, just go to visitors to start with okay so this will give you the the visitors and you can see over here you've got an option to have a look over the last 12 months um, there's all different sorts of information, whether it's mobile or desktop. Uh, you can actually filter by these various different demographics, which is quite interesting. As you can see here, the job function, um, I usually find these are quite good. So that this really does give you a, an idea of the audience that is looking at your, uh, at your company page on LinkedIn. The only one that I do find is a little bit iffy is the one that says seniority, because there's nowhere that actually says what is defined what job role is defined for what so for example we've got here 33 percent or just over 33 and a half percent is senior people whereas i've also got you know 14 percent which is managers you know what's the difference between senior and manager or what's the difference between owner and director do you know how do linkedin decide what job title falls into what category i don't know it doesn't actually say anywhere so i find that a little bit iffy so take that with a little pinch of salt but you can also see you know the company size the company size just so you know is the people who have clicked follow and they're following your company page this is the size of business that they actually belong to at this at the time that they've they've got this profile up and running on linkedin so you can see that we have more companies or more sized businesses that follow us within the two to 10 employees. So they're the small sort of nano businesses rather than the big companies. Um, as you can see, a lot of you guys might have you know 10,000 plus in here. You can see we haven't got any of those at all, but that's not our target market. So it tells me that we're doing something right. So have a play around with these various different um, demographics there. Uh, the other thing, obviously, you can go into updates. You can get some statistics in updates. But before I go into that too much, I just wanted to show you how you can also export a report. So again, I've filtered it by 12 months. Uh, and then if I click on export, um, ah, okay, they've changed that. So you can only actually export it over the last six months, not 12 months. So, you know, say so that forever changing things. We I mean, do this on a regular basis, so uh, I'm not sure when they've actually changed that. But if you click export, then you get a nice CSE, CSV file, which gives you this data in a CSV file. So if you like putting your own spreadsheets together and your own little pie charts and things like that that you want to report back to, then, you know, I think that's, that's quite a good little thing to do. Okay, so you have the same process for the other areas as well. So you've got updates. So updates is the content that you're providing. Um, and you've got various different things from impressions, unique impressions, clicks, likes, comments, shares, and social engagement. Um, so if you come down here, there's a little, there's glitches all over the place within LinkedIn. But one of the glitches is if you come over here and you're having a look at these different posts, and then you think to yourself, I want to filter by, you can see how that just changed. So if I go over here, and then I move my mouse to anywhere within this thing here. It just, it just goes straight up to the top again, which is a right pane in the rear end. So if I want to look by clicks, 
all I can really do is view that content there. And again, I can export that report to actually show that content. Um, so that's clicks and I've got a whole range of different ones there. But I want to see what is the most comments, what is the most likes. So you get your nice little reports here. Okay, uh, this information at the bottom really doesn't change, so you're better off actually just exporting that report and having a look at the CSV file and playing around with those at the same time. Uh, and the last thing is you can actually analyze your followers. So the followers gives you a total of followers, uh, how many gains you've had and when you've had those gains. Again, this is just looking over the last 30 days, so let's try over the last 12 months. Remembering, actually, let's see, I don't think we can do that either. Yep, you can't do that over the last 12 months if you want to export into a CSV, but you can see over the last 12 months if you just want to view it on the screen and get some information there. So it will give you the countries, which I think is great. You know, at the end of the day, we're a UK company. Our target market is in the UK, so we want predominantly to be the UK. Yay, so that's a thumbs up there. Um, and the regions as well. Unlike Google Analytics, which is defined by IP addresses, and a lot of IP addresses are routed through different places in the country, this is obviously taken by people's profiles. So, you know, I can tell here that 157 people are coming from our hometown or home area of Northampton and Milton Keynes, which is fantastic. Um, so you can get that information there. Okay, so really, that's about it. All you can do on the free version of the LinkedIn uh, company page, and that's where your analytics are. So the main two areas are, you get an overview as soon as you land on your company page on the left-hand side. It just tells you whether things are up or down, uh, so you get green or red. Uh, then you can have a look at the individual posts and then you can have a, a more in-depth look in the analytics. The important thing is just to make sure that you are definitely exporting uh, those reports so that you can use those CSV files to manipulate it in the way that you wish to. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's how you find the analytics on a company page on LinkedIn. See you. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.